Hey. What's cracking, G? It's your boy Cooper. You already know my channel about love, life, and loyalty. And I got a little information piece, a little informative piece for y'all today. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. They ain't let the GDs through the door, but they let Bronin me. Damn, they got them GDs out there, boy. Uh. God, they gonna finna go spend a hundred thousand on nothing, nigga. Ask Adam, as you guys see. I had somebody hit me up the other day. Uh-huh. And it's somebody who, you know, he's out here. He's, he's out and about, and he seems like he knows what's going on. And he basically told me, warn Flacco, there are people that want to take him out. All right, y'all, we got the Adam and Wax show. And Adam decides to bring up that somebody told him that Flacco got a green light on him by some L.A. folks. So let's check it out. They going to fuck Flacco and up. He told, and, and then he provided a little bit. I, I asked him who. He said, I'm not really at liberty to say. This is the part that tripped me out. He said, the only reason why I can't say who it was is because I, I was the only black dude in the room. I'm like... The only people that I could picture wanting to kill Flacco are black dudes. I'm going to be honest, because his content on his channel is almost 100% about black That's dudes. A fact. And so I was taken aback by that. I told so, Flacco he doesn't seem concerned. You know, that's the problem with Flacco. <laughs> now, now, let me walk you through what you just heard. Okay. If I say it, they'll know it's me because I'm the only black dude in the room. Right. There's different levels of seriousness. Mm -hmm. There's levels where a motherfucker say, we going to address him. We're going to deal with him. Right. And usually when that happens, it's, it's, it's only going to go so far. Mm -hmm. Then there's levels to where we don't want him to know it's us. Get it done. Right. So if he's saying he's the only black dude in that room, that means it's been passed along uh -huh. to something that's not us. So now it's business. Mm. It's business. It's, uh, what's the guy... Uh, from New York that got killed out here. Pop this, Smoke. This Pop Smoke. Them dudes they caught, they killed Pop Smoke. That wasn't personal for them. That was business. That was a robbery, right? The personal come from whoever called that dog, right? Wait, but you're saying that that was a hit that was ordered by somebody? I mean, that was business. We all were like led to believe that it was basically just a bunch of young ass kids from Hoover trying to get a chain. The 911 call to get somebody to the Hollywood Hills came from New York. Because the dude was on the phone when it was happening, right? Allegedly. Five people in there with him from New York with him. They're out here with him. Four masked gunmen come in. Hmm. Only one person get hit. It's business. Hey. I don't know. One side is personal, one side is business. And I keep telling Flacco because Flacco doesn't know he's from fucking North Dakota. He came out here on a mission and by any means necessary, let me find my niche, let me find my lane and I get it. And I'm telling him, brother, you're overstepping some things in this jungle. He doesn't understand this. He knows no jumper and a few of the dudes he's meeting no jumper. And the dudes he's meeting, Brick Baby, uh, myself, D-Dub, all of us have watered ourselves down, right, to a certain extent mm. to do what we're doing. Because if we were still on that how we used to be, we wouldn't be in here in front of a camera. Mm. So he's taking what he's seeing in here as if that's what it is out there. And he'll talk about certain things because I know this guy, this guy, this guy. He doesn't know about those guys that's in that hole. Mm. And I'm telling him, and he's gonna be oblivious out, woo woo, do 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 do, and bam, it's gonna happen. Right. And, I, and like, it, it'll fuck with me. I don't wanna see nothing happen to the dude. Me neither. I remember when he first came here that he got specific advice from AD, I believe, which was be very careful about what you cover in terms of LA situation. You could talk about Memphis, you can talk about Chicago, you talk about New York, it's fine. It's not yeah. in your backyard. When it comes to talking about LA, just be a lot more careful. Myself personally, we do a lot of content with LA rappers, but I go way more out of my way to not be messy when it comes to LA shit. 
Chicago, New York, whatever, we could we could joke around a little bit more. But you know, I I, I actually feel as if I have you know decent relationships. I, I I can't think of like a hood that considers me or No Jumper to be their enemy. I do have issues with individuals, but for the most part, I try to keep my relationships decent out here. No, you do. You do. Uh, people do. Flacco could do better. Specifically, the titles, the YouTube titles. This started an L.A. gang war. Crazy. And a lot of times he's talking about like very specific people who do have issues with each other. But that title to a lot of people is like very federal, very And offensive. he's from North Dakota. Yeah. The most like I wanted to do is just go to pay less and get an OG steel toe and just take a run and start about eight steps and just kick him square off in his ass. He might not even feel it. He got a big old dumper on him. Yeah, but I mean, but some people is like, and I'm telling them, bro, like you need to chill out. Right. I'm, I'm telling them, like, I'm, and it's like when you're talking to him, he always comes up with, I'm going to come up with a way to spin what you're saying to make it seem like it's not what, what it really is. Mm. And that's what pisses people off. Right. Motherfucker, you from North Dakota, not me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to blame one person when it happens. I hope, you. Wh I hope whoever has issues with him would be kind enough to just like pack him out before they turn him into a pack. Yeah, you know, that would be really out. cool. That would okay. be very chill of y'all. Draco got Smack packed out. Smack him around a little bit. Draco got packed out. LA pack outs come with other shit. Okay, not that kind of pack out. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm just being real. Mm. You know what I mean? They, you know, he gonna, they gonna, they gonna poke on Flacco big This ass. is the thing. If something happens to Flacco, it's gonna be because of what he's doing on his own channel, not what he's saying on this channel. For the most part. That's probably because you've been monitoring over the last six months or so. Whenever he's on here doing a podcast, he's at least being checked by other people who realistically probably have more skin in the game than him. Yeah. Gonna we'll stop it right there. So now y'all have it. I mean, there y'all go. Y'all heard it right there. He's, he basically said it's a green light on Flacco, but he couldn't tell who it was. But we we kind of been knew it was a green light on Flacco. That's why Flacco be ducking off the way he do. But it'd be sad if he end up on the T-shirt. But that's the karma he earned. You know, right, let me see R.P. the Fulio. That that was another person that was out here. You know, had some choice words for different people and. And then, you know, he passed away this morning, so I'll say RP to him. But yeah, man, it's your boy Cooper. My trying about love, life, and loyalty. And some of them is in Nacho with some understanding. I'll catch you on the next one. My end, kill a nigga playing both sides. I'm locked in, so you know that the rope ties.